Hey guys, I've been a little slower on the videos lately. I've just been taking more time with my family and I've been busy with some other things. But I just wanted to give you a little update on the farm, what's happening in here in the nursery and a little bit about what's going on in the field. So as you can see, I've got some lights up here. And this is something we do pretty much exclusively at this time of year, kind of on the shoulder season of the winter solstice, which is right now. It's Friday, December 8th, and um, we've got everything slowing down in our greenhouse. We've got things that would normally take eight days, which would be our, oh, any of these microgreens, pea shoots, uh, sunflower shoots over here, uh, cabbage, radish shoots, all this stuff takes about eight days. So for the most part, we plant on a Wednesday and then harvest on a Thursday. But at this time of year, there's just such little amounts of daylight that we need to uh, expedite things to a certain degree. So for the most part, what we do is we just expect longer growth cycles. And that's why you can see more of the shelving space being occupied in this greenhouse now than in the summertime. Our production has been the same. We're growing more or less the same amount of shoots and microgreens that we were in the summer. It's just that now we need more space to grow them because they're on the shelf for longer. So what we're doing right now is we've got a shelf with some basic fluorescence. These are just T5s, fluorescent lights. They're called a Grow Lux bulb. I've had these lights for like eight years and they still work. And what we're doing is we run them 24 seven. And anything that we think we need to speed up for a certain harvest date, we just put them under the lights for a couple days. And so what, what's happened here is we need to get these crops. So this is actually a mix. This is our rainbow mix, which has got some cabbage, some amaranth. Um, there's some radish that should be part of it too. Oh, but that's actually good to harvest. So we actually slowed that one down. So this is kind of funny. I'll explain this better in a second. But so all of these, these pea shoots, the cabbage and the amaranth, we want to speed up because we want to harvest it on Monday. And so we're just putting them under lights that are running 24 seven for two days. That should get them big enough to harvest on Monday. But what we've also done is we had these radish shoots back here that are almost ready to harvest. So we don't want to put those under the lights. So those can just stay back there and grow as their normal cycles go. And you know, essentially manipulating some to speed up and some to slow down to all arrive at one ideal harvest date. So that's kind of what's happening in the greenhouse here recently. What we've also done, I got this new product called Root Shield and it's basically a, it's like a, it's like a, a, a fungus protector and it's an organic product and I mix it with water and I spray it on, I water the microgreens with it once a week and it has made an incredible difference. Despite some of our best efforts with sanitizing everything, controlling our airflow, controlling the temperature, controlling our humidity, uh, you know, sterilizing the seed and sterilizing the flats, we had still been getting some fungus problems with our sunflower shoots. But we've started applying this root shield stuff and it's great. Like I don't see any fungus in our crops at all. So that has been a big plus. This package of this stuff costs 300 bucks though, but it should last well over a year. So I think, I think it was a worthwhile investment. But that's what's going on in the nursery right now. So it's, a, it's only four o'clock and it's getting dark already here. Um, in our greenhouse here, in our hothouse, this is sort of the some of the last stuff standing on our farm. We've got two more beds of lettuce to harvest there, which will be next week. And then we're pretty much done. We have harvested all of our caterpillar tunnels. So this one, that one back there, we have two at a property just across the highway and two just as the crow flies, just a block over there. So those ones are all cropped out and it's not to say that they won't survive the coming cold, it's just that it's unlikely that we'll get a second cut in, in, any, in any time soon, basically. So as far as our field crops go, we're pretty much done after we harvest this stuff here. 
and then we're on to just microgreens and shoots for maybe late January, early February. I also had another problem with aphids in the greenhouse again here, this time black aphids, and I'd never had black aphids in here before, and so I called my um, biological pest control place, and they sent me this new one called Aphid Eliminator, and I won't even try to pronounce that Latin name. I'll let you guys check it out. But uh, I've released these guys in here almost two weeks ago, and they've been working great. I had, I had like tons of aphids in all of the little buds of my lemon trees here, and it was looking really grim. But I released these things, and they've been doing a great job. So that's kind of like the things that you have to do when you've got a greenhouse that is a year-round greenhouse. Pests don't really go away, you know? It's, it's almost like growing in the tropics. So that's what's going on the farm here lately. I'm gonna have some new videos coming out next week, but this is it for the weekend. Hope you guys have a great one. Talk to you later.